Hello everyone, I welcome you back. In this video, we are going to learn two theories of intelligence. The first will be two-factor theory of intelligence, and the second will be group-factor theory of intelligence. First of all, let us see what is intelligence. The definition of intelligence is very complex, yet in very simple term. Intelligence is defined as the ability to learn or profit from experience, the ability to solve problems or the ability to cope or adjust with changes and demands of the environment. According to Stern, 1914, intelligence is the general capacity of the individual to consciously adjust his thinking to new requirement. In this video, we are going to learn two theory of intelligence. Coming to the first theory, that will be two-factor theory of intelligence. Two-factor theory was developed in 1905 by an English psychologist, Charles Spearman. The theory is based on factor analysis, which is a statistical procedure. Spearman used factor analysis to examine relationship between people's scores on different tests or subtests of intelligence. He concluded that people who do well on some intelligent tests also do well on other tests. Similarly, people who do poorly on some intelligent tests also tend to do poorly on other intelligent tests. On the basis of this research, Spearman concluded that intelligence consists of two factors, G factor and S factor. The G factor is the general ability or the common ability, and the S factor stands for the specific ability. The difference between people in intelligence was a matter of how much G they possessed, and Spearman called this general factor as mental energy. Coming to the characteristics of G and S factor, G factor 1, it is universal inborn ability. The greater the G in an individual lead to greater success in life. S factor 1, it is learned and acquired in the environment. G factor 2, it is constant in the sense that for any individual in respect of all the correlated abilities remains the same. S factor, it varies from activity to activity in the same individual. G factor 3, the amount of G differs from individual to individual. In S factor, the amount of S differ from individual to individual as well. Now let us look into Spearman two-factor theory of intelligence contributions. So it has made two major contributions in the psychology of intelligence. Firstly, Spearman developed the mathematical model for studying G, which laid the foundation of factor analysis. The logic and method of correlational analysis was afterward followed by other researchers for developing multifactorial theories of intelligence. The second major contribution is that it established scholarly tradition in the investigation of human abilities. Lastly, let us see the education implications of this theory. Firstly, the theory taught us that each individual differs from one another with varying degrees of abilities. Therefore, each child is unique and each one has their own capacity. The second is the theory gives a better insight to the teachers about the nature of intelligence. And the third education implication is the specific ability that is the S factor is acquired and learned from the environment and therefore students learning environment can be modified or made suitable by the teachers for effective learning. Coming to the second theory in this video is Group Factor Theory of Intelligence So what is Group Factor Theory of Intelligence? Group Factor Theory of Intelligence is also known as Theory of Primary Mental Abilities, Factor Analysis Theory of Intelligence or Thurston's Theory of Intelligence. In the year 1937, Louis Thurston came out with Group Factor Theory. According to him, Intelligence neither consists of general mental abilities and specific factors as proposed by Spearman, nor multi-factors as developed by Thorndike, but a cluster of abilities. 
On the basis of factor analysis, he found that intelligence is comprised of six primary factors, each relatively independent of others. Now let us go through the six primary factors of intelligence according to Thurston's. 1. Number factor. Number factor is the ability to do numerical calculations rapidly and accurately. 2 is verbal comprehension factor, which is found in tests involving verbal comprehension, which may take two forms as in fluency and verbal comprehension. 3. Space factor. Space factor involved in any task in which the subject manipulates the imaginary object in space. Example, visualizing pieces of puzzles as how to fit them together. The fourth primary factor is memory factor. The memory factor involves the ability to memorize quickly and retain for a longer period of time. Five is reasoning factor. Found in tasks that require a subject to discover a rule or principle involved in a series or group of letters. Six is word fluency factor. It involves whenever the subject is asked to think of isolated words at a rapid rate. Based on these factors, Thurston constructed a new test of intelligence known as Test of Primary Mental Abilities, that is PMA. In conclusion to this theory, let us look at educational significance. 1. Thurston's theory of intelligence was a major influence on later theories of multiple intelligence such as Guilford, Gardner, and Sternberg. 2. It contributed greatly to the measurement of attitudes. Thurston's scale, which was developed in the year 1928, was the first formal technique for measuring attitudes. So that is all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.